Assalamu alaikum and good morning and welcome you all guys in the lecture of the series of the epidemiology subject. In the previous lecture of the epidemiology, we covered the two types of the model of disease causation. The triage model and the second one was the wheel model. Now in the today lecture, we will go to cover the wave causation model. As it is clear by his the the title of this model epidemiological model is a name is the wave disease wave causation disease model in the wave causation model is a mostly used in the non communicable disease as you know the non communicable disease the risk factor of the non communicable disease are the multifactorial the social factor, the environmental factor, the biological factor, the predisposing factor and the personal factor, they are the interrelated or they will become combined and cause a particular disease. And the epidemiological, uh, the web causation epidemiological model is the multifactorial process that could be leads a particular type of the disease. Let's come up with the one example. We will solve this wave causation model. We will learn the wave causation model and clear the concept about the wave causation model. Now, let's see like a stress. When it is the stress is a social factor. And when the stress is become an increase, the definitely is a, again, increase the two thing inside the host the first one it is increase changes the hormonal change when the stress it is increase the hormones secretion level especially the flight and fight syndrome fight and fight syndrome become activated when the fight and flight be, so, syndrome become activated, so definitely it is increase the level of the cortisol. When it is increase the cortisol level, the definitely it is increase the utilization of the glucose. The gl glucose, the glycogen, which is a present inside the in the liver or in the muscles where they are deposited the glycogen form. It has been utilized by the cortisol. It is a mole convert in the glyco, glycogenolysis. And the second word, definitely, it is a when the hormonal nickel become a change. It is a increase the adrenal secretion as well from the adrenal gland. For fight and flight syndrome, it is affect the hormones, especially on the adrenal gland. From the adrenal medulla, the adrenal gland has been adrenaline or non adrenaline hormones has been secreted in the larger quantities. So it is again is a will goes to increase the hunger. When it is increased the hunger, they definitely it is increased the diet intake. Okay. By just only the one social factor increasing of the stress it is a disturb the hormonal levels and it increase the fluctuation in the hormones and the flight and fight syndrome has become a start inside the human body and it is increased the release of the cortisol from the adrenal gland and also from adrenaline and non-adrenaline hormones which is a both are increase the peristaltic movements and it increase the appetite okay so due to the increase of the appetite is a increase the diet so when the diet intake can become an increase and the cortisol become a increase at the blood plasma level so the uptake of the diet become increased inside the host so what is it is it called it is called the obesity okay obesity okay it is increase the obesity inside the host and what else 
it is also increase the lipid profile lipid profile as has the obesity increase the definitely it is increase the lipid profile okay and when the diet is increase the definitely obesity as we learn that the obesity is also increase when the obesity is increased and the diet intake is increased it is a decrease the physical activity as well it is decrease the physical activity of the host okay now due to the increase decrease of the physical activity is again it is aggravated more aggravated to the obesity and due to the stress if you will see due to the stress it is increase the personal habit of the host it is start the smoking and the definitely the person who has become an uh, wake up fall in the stress it is definitely there is a increase the smoking which is the personal habits is a pers bad personal habits it is the increase the smoking in the host while it is a decrease the personal of the physical activity definitely it will go the predisposing factor it is the hypertension it is cause the hypertension and the obesity and lipid profile is also cause the hypertension okay and the another one is the heredity which is the heredity is the predisposing factor in the family history of the sub person of the some families so this heredity is again increase the obesity as well the obesity is always run in the some families in the so due to the increase of the obesity and the lipid profile and the blood plasma level of the host so it is it is increase okay it is hard, increase the hardening or it is hardening the arteries okay arteries it will leads to increase the hardening of the arteries and the hypertension again leads towards the hypertension diseases when the hypertension has been happened in the any particular host so it is leads towards the hypertension diseases now the hypertension these due to the hypertension and due to the increase uh, of the hardening of the arteries in the host it will leads towards the it will cause the the stroke and the hypertension is also cause the stroke now the due to the due to the stress which is the uh, which is aggravate the smoking inside in, in the host so this whole increase of the smoking or the use of the smoking in the host it is aggravate the blood blood clotting blood clotting irregularities irregularities in the or it some make a increase the plaque thrombosis thrombosis okay and the plaque now these blood clotting irregularities is again directly or directly connected to cause the stroke and hardening of the heart and the blood clotting irregularities it will goes to cause the chds or the you can say heart diseases 
clear that now you see here the the multifactorial the multifactorial social factor the only one social factor of the stress it can it can aggravate or it can activate the different type of the factor risk factor inside the host body which is cause the different which is uh, which is uh, activated the different mechanism inside the host body and it will goes to create the non communicable disease just like the stress stress is a when the person or the host has become exposed of the stress it's activated inside the host body the hormonal changes and due to the hormonal changes the fight and flight syndrome has been stored inside the host which is increased the release of the cortisol level and the adrenaline gland adrenaline hormones these are the hormones will goes to uh, convert the glycogen which is a present inside the liver or in the and the muscles so it is convert the glyco increase the glucose level in the blood through the glycogenolysis mechanism and it also increase the appetite so due to the increase of the appetite in the stress it is increase the uptake of the food junk food so due to the increase of the diet of the food intake it will increase the obesity and plus lipid profile inside the host blood plasma level and the second one when the diet intake in will become increased the definitely the obesity and the lipid profile it is it will goes to cause the decrease the physical activity of the host due to decrease of the physical activity of the host and again and the other one intake more intake of the diet is again is a cause the obesity and lipid profile so the due to the physical activity it's again it will goes to cause the hypertension and increase of the obesity and the lipid profile it is again also cause the hypertension and hypertension will goes to leads towards the hypertension diseases and other you know the pre predisposing factor in the family history just like the in the obesity is a present in the hereditary and these hereditary obesity is again a cause the increase the lipid profile in the blood plasma level of the host due to the increase of the obesity and lipid profile of the in the host it leads towards the hardening of the arteries in the at the blood vessel blood vessel level and especially at the cardiac uh, cardiac arteries so it is due to the hardening of the arteries it leads towards the stroke and the second one the hardening of the arteries is again is the cause the chd the coronary heart disease and also the stroke at the brain level and you know they due to the increase of the stress level definitely the person will be fall in the bad behaviors by bad personal habits and it, so he start the smoking to get rid from the stress so the increase of the smoking level level or the exposure so it is a, the due to the smoking the blood plasma clotting factor all the platelets become irregular and they will be make a more plaque and these plaque will be will goes to convert into the thrombus and due to the these platelet aggravation it is again is a lead towards the thrombus uh, is again is a cause the stroke so this is the web causation model in which if you see look the uh, the this shape of this of the stroke and uh, coronary heart disease uh, heart disease these multifactorial disease make the web shape causation and these web ca uh, causation multifactorial uh, factor they are the interrelated with each other they are the aggravate to to aggravate the each other and then make a cause of the non communicable diseases and these non communicable disease is the maybe stroke maybe non communicable diseases just like the coronary artery disease and the diabetic mellitus and a hypertension i hope in the today lecture it's a clear your concept about the web causations 
of the non-communicable disease, especially of the coronary artery disease and the stroke and the hypertension. And the last, I request to you all, press the bell button. By pressing the bell button, you will get my new lecture as soon as I upload on my YouTube channel. I request in last, propagate my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.